Good morning and welcome to weekly vlog number three for 2022. It is Monday morning, it's about 10.30 or so now. And we have all gotten ourselves together. Colin is currently taking his first morning nap. And once he wakes up, I think we are gonna, it's a beautiful sunny day. I think we're gonna go outside and enjoy some playground outdoor time um, before, it's nap, before it's nap time. So we've been trying to get into a good daily rhythm and we've actually been doing pretty well of getting up and getting ourselves together. Colin takes his first morning nap. When he wakes up, we go do something outdoors, whether it be a walk or more often than not, we go to the playground, one of the playgrounds in town. We play in the playground and then come back, do lunch. Nora takes her afternoon nap. He usually goes down, He's he sleeps intermittently throughout the day, but he'll usually do a solid good afternoon nap and then another one a little bit later. Um, so we're kind of, we're getting there. It's not such chaos anymore. And I appreciate it so much. I remember when I had Nora at four months, I started feeling like I could breathe again because there was some semblance of a routine and Colin is going to be four months on the 11th of February. So really soon, but his gestational age, he's actually 10 days older because he was, he came 10 days late. And so a lot of those developmental things actually happen closer to the gestational age than like actual age. So with that, he's actually, he's, he's actually today, he would be four months gestational age wise because it's the 31st of January. So, um, that's pretty funny. So anyway, well, I guess today or tomorrow, um, regardless, I'm seeing that right now with him where his naps are more predictable. He's just more easygoing. He's less of like just a really, really high needs infant and more turning into like a baby that interacts with you. And that four month mark, I feel like it's like you hit that and things just get a little bit smoother. Um, so I'm grateful for that. I mean, I've enjoyed his like infancy, but I really enjoy like four to nine months where they're like, they have a personality and they interact with you. It's just really special. Nora this morning is playing. Show everybody what you're doing. Oh, are you spinning your baby? Nora, what do you have on your head? A purple bow? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah. Why does your baby not why is your baby nudie katootie? Where's your baby's clothes? Um ew. Oh. Those are clothes? Yeah. They do feel like clothes. Yeah. You say good morning. Oh, you're too busy taking care of your baby. <laughs> so, so, oh, mama down. <laughs> so sweet. All right, Colin probably has a couple more minutes left on his nap, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to grab the laundry out of the dryer. Welcome to our week. We made it to the playground by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> I got the kids all loaded up, completely ready to go. And then I got in my car, everything loaded, diapers changed, everybody fed, happy, shoes on, and my car would not start. Mommy, mommy. Yes, I'm gonna, co I'll push you on the swing. And so we had to call Riley to come to the rescue. So he came and rescued us. And um, you wanna swing? Yeah. Okay, one second. Um, so thankfully he came and rescued us and jumped my car. And then we got stuck behind the train, which there's another train going. And Colin hates being in the car. We have tried everything. He just straight up hates it. So he just screamed, screamed at the top of his lungs the whole drive here, including the 10 minutes that we were waiting for the train. So mama's a little bit like frazzled right now. So I'm just gonna enjoy this beautiful 70 degree weather. I literally have short sleeves on. And just breathe for a minute because, good grief. What a morning. And when Riley was coming to um, help me when he was driving home from work to help me jump my car, someone hit his car. And so he has a dent in his new truck. Just a very Monday Monday, so. All right, I'm gonna play with my kids and breathe for a few minutes. <laughs>
found some sidewalk chalk, so naturally Nora is lining it all up. Right, Nora Nee? Look at all those colors. Purple, yellow. meet daddy for lunch. You ready? Oh, you got to get those up first. Good morning. It's Tuesday. We are already off to such a better start for the day. My car just started, so we've got that going for us. And um, I am actually, it's about 9 a.m. I am going to go grab a coffee and go work for a couple of hours this morning. Um, Riley has a pretty slow morning, so he said, if you want to go work, I'll stay home with the kids. And I said, that sounds amazing. I'm in a season of life right now where working feels a bit like a break because of working versus being at home with the kids. Being at home with the kids is just so much more demanding. It's also so much more fulfilling but I think most of you probably know what I mean. It's just physically demanding constantly the whole time. And after a day like yesterday, I'm really looking forward to a Starbucks and a morning of work <laughs> um, and just some time to put podcasts in my ears and just listen and, and do my thing. Um, so I'll be back with the kids shortly and I'll, I always miss them the whole time I'm gone and Riley sends me pictures and I like, I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go home. But it is nice to have a little bit of a break for a couple of hours and it's great to get some work done. So I'm going to go pop by Starbucks and then I'm going to run to my office and I'm going to run to Riley's studio. So it should be a good little productive morning here. Good morning. I'm up at my office now. My printer is printing. And I just got my drink of choice lately, which has been an iced peppermint white mocha. And it comes normally with whipped cream and dark chocolate curls on top, but I always ask for it without those things. It is so good. I like dream about this drink. I love it. So it tastes to me like peppermint bark. So if you like peppermint bark and you like coffee, you will love this drink. It is amazing. So I'm gonna get to work. I'm just having a Quest bar for breakfast this morning. Um, and I've got my liquid ID over there as usual. So it's a good Tuesday. It's a great Tuesday. Hello, it is, <clears throat> I'm stepping on a stethoscope, a play stethoscope. It's about 5.45, Riley is on his way home. Um, I just put on the TV because I wanted to be able to say the name because it's a ridiculous name. While the kids were napping today because they are on a synced nap schedule right now and it's wonderful. It's usually only like an hour of overlap, but I will take it. I watched the first episode of the new Netflix series and the title of it is The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window, <laughs> which is a ridiculous name. Um, but then I looked into it more <clears throat> and Kristen Bell, who stars in it, and I think might have like produced it or written it or something, said that it's supposed to be sort of like a satirical parody of um, like the girl on the train or the woman in the window and like all those. So they were trying to make the name of the show like kind of ridiculous, which it is. The name is The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window. And it's about this woman who um, like drinks too much and is taking prescription pills. And so she's like, not 100% in her right mind and she thinks she saw a murder and it's sort of like this the story of that and so the storyline is like real but then there's like a lot of it that's kind of like jabbing fun at those like psychological thrillers that have like taken hold of you know the media <clears throat> um like books fictional like Gone Girl and things like that so I'm not explaining it very well. I was never meant to be someone who wrote like synopses for things like this. I would be terrible at it because I just want to sit, talk way too much. But it's it's interesting so far. I'm very early into it. I don't know. I don't really fully have an opinion of it, but um, it was a fun little nap time watch. So we got that going for us. Um, this afternoon, my friend came over with two of her three kids. Um because she is getting a new washer and dryer, but they sold her current washer and dryer. And she was like, I really need to do laundry. I was like, well, come over and do laundry and hang out with us. So she came over and did laundry and um, the two younger kids played with my kids. Well, really played with Nora. Although the babies did like lay together and, and sort of play together. 
So that was a nice little afternoon, and then Nora and Colin took their naps. I watched this long-winded title on Netflix, and um, then I played outside with Nora for a while. And the same friend um, just got a new trampoline, and she is, I think, possibly selling her old one. And I asked her to discuss with her husband how much they want to sell it for because I would love to get one. It has, it's like a really nice trampoline. They just put one that's in ground, which is like my ultimate dream, but our backyard is so small for that. Um, so because they have the in-ground one, they no longer need the like above ground one. And our, it would take up pretty much our entire yard, but I think we would get so much use out of it. I think Nora would have so much fun playing on the trampoline. And um, I had a friend growing up who had a trampoline and oh my gosh, some of my very best childhood memories. We would play on that thing just forever. It was super fun. So we'll see, but I would love that for Nora just to have a place where, you know, we could go sit out there and she could play. And it's not just like our janky yard because we really don't have much of a backyard. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, there's really nothing else to say. It's been a really, really good Tuesday, a lot better than yesterday. Also, we got a firewood delivery today because the temperatures, I can feel it because I have a headache. I always get a headache when the pressure changes. Um, the temperatures are about to drop. Like it was 70 degrees today and it was 70 degrees yesterday, but they are looking at, they are forecasting a six to eight inch snow and ice storm to hit us tomorrow afternoon or night or Thursday. So Riley's not anticipating working on Thursday or Friday because he thinks it's gonna be icy and they're probably gonna to have to shut it down. So I would, I mean, I don't want him to be behind on work, but from a family perspective, I would love if he was home for Thursday and Friday. But regardless of what happens with that, we got a big bunch of, I think we get a half a cord, a cord. I'm not up to date on firewood measurements, but we got some firewood so that um, we can have some hot fires Hopefully we don't lose electricity like last year. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I just got this little man. Big sister's in here. <laughs> I just got this little man dressed in this little. <laughs> it's so darn cute. It's like this little soft sweatsuit thing. My mom got him for Christmas. You look like you're ready to go exploring on vacation. You look sort of European. Very fashionable, Colin. Very fashionable, Colin. You look so adorable. Look at him. Oh, so fun. So cute. This is the best toy ever if anybody has a baby around this age. You flip it like this. And then it's hard to do while I have the phone. Then you, it kind of goes over their hands so they can't drop it. And then they can chew on the bottom and they can they can chew on the little ears and he just loves it. Daddy found it for him and he just loves it. Mommy. Yes, baby. You wanna go sit on the couch? No. Oh. What then? Oh, are you hitting the wall? Yeah. Uh oh. Do you have heart jammies on? It is lunchtime now and big girl Nora is eating some mac and cheese and some mandarin oranges and some water. Good job. And we are air frying some of these. Okay, I picked these up, added them to my grocery order the other day, sort of on a whim, just thinking, you know, they'd be an easy lunch. These are like the most delicious frozen chicken tenders I have ever had in my entire life. Usually I think they're kind of like, I don't know dicey and I just am not really into frozen chicken tenders but these are so good and they happen to be gluten-free and organic so if you see these Daddy. Purdue Simply Smart Organics Daddy. I highly recommend them they are yummy 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 I made a couple for Nora yesterday and I had a bite of one and I popped the, the rest of them into the air fryer because they're so good um, so you can make them in the oven too but if you have an air fryer definitely recommend the air fryer because they taste like fresh like restaurant ones i don't know loved them so just a little chicken tender recommendation from me to you so here is half of one of the chicken tenders i just cut half of it up for nora but i wanted you to hear yes it's hot i wanted you to hear um the crispiness so listen to this
it is like steaming up. Um, <laughs> I know I'm raving about frozen chicken tenders, but typically I just think they're just not good. And these are so good and they're so crunchy on the outside. I just recommend them a lot. Nora's napping and Colin's over here on the couch with me. And I just got a package from Rothy's um, with some shoes I ordered. So I'm opening them and see, yay, I'm seeing them for the first time along with you guys. Oh, these are so great. I thought these would be great for throwing on to go to the playground or run around with the kids or whatever because they're sort of like a sneaker silhouette. But they're the same Rothy's material as the other ones, which I love. And so they can be thrown in the washing machine, which is great. Let me pull them out. All right, let me, hi, Charlie Bear. Let me um, go ahead and try these on and we'll see. We'll see how they fit. I really like the look of them. I think that's a really nice casual looking shoe, but let's see how they look on. Okay, so I just tried them on and they fit me perfectly. Um, Post baby, I am in a 10 or a 10 and a half. And so I got a 10 and a half um, and there's definitely still some room, but I wanted them to be kind of casual and loose um, rather than tight because I do not like tight shoes around my toes and whatnot. I just have leggings on that, but these would be so super cute with jeans um, and they have the, um, I think it's black and white and then a blue stripe up at the top. But I love these. These are my third pair. I have a pair of pointed ones that have like a cheetah print on them. And then I have a pair of loafers that are like a gray color. And then the, this color is called sand. And these are like the little shoe, shoe ones. So I love them. I will wear those all the time. I do have a Rothy's um, referral code that gives you like $20 or $30 off your first order. So if you're interested, I'll link that below. But oh, I will wear these all the time. I love them. What do you think, Bubba? Do you like them? Do you like them? Yeah. <laughs> Here are the other two pairs that I have. So here's the pointy ones that are in the like cheetah print, I think. Leopard, I don't know. And then these are the loafers. Um, they both need to be thrown in the wash again. Um, but it's awesome because you can just throw them in the wash and they look great still. I wear them. All the time looking good um it is after eight nora is getting ready to go to bed colin's already asleep and the sleet has begun outside let me show you um we are expecting rain and freezing rain and sleet all night tonight and then it's not going to get above freezing for a couple of days and then it's supposed to snow tomorrow so that's why um people forecasters are worried because it's like one thing on top of the next but the sound of sleet is so soothing. Let me show you. Do you hear it? Our dead plant we need to get rid of. Wow. No, no. Wow. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I know. No. You can hear it. Oh, and here's Charlie, the whole crew. Okay, let's go inside. It's cold. <laughs> we still have a fall welcome mat. Let me know. So that's what's going on this evening. We got firewood delivered yesterday and Riley stacked it yesterday evening. So we have that going for us. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. It's very normal in all the years I've lived in Texas, which it will be, I think, nine years this summer since I've lived here. It's very normal in January or February to get a snow and ice situation like this. In fact, nearly every year that I've lived here, we've had that. But last year was that really awful one where the power grid went out and we didn't have power for a week and it was just like a nightmare. So everybody's really edgy because even though this is a really pretty normal weather event for us in January or February, last year's was not just a couple of days, it was like a whole week. Like the whole state's power grid went down and it was a hot mess disaster. So um, I think we're, I was talking to my friends today and everybody's kind of like, on edge about this um this storm even though it's really it's actually really not that unusual for this time of year so we'll see how it pans out riley is not planning on going to work tomorrow or friday and we have had a big fire this evening he is warming himself by it 
What do you think about this whole storm situation? I hope it just stops sleeting soon and it snows because the sleet's no good. That's right. The ice is really what is. I was just saying, like, it's not unusual at this time of year to get snow and ice for a couple of days, but everyone's edgy because of last year. Yeah. yeah. So we will check in tomorrow. I'm stepping over Nora's play potty. It has magnets in it. There's nothing in there of note, just magnets. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow and let you know what the weather situation is like then. Before I head to bed, let me show you my new favorite thing in my beautiful new dressing room, which I talked about at length and showed you in last week's vlog. Look how beautiful it still is. Everything's still orderly. It's wonderful. Um, I added little hooks to the wall so that I could hang my necklaces. I haven't been wearing, well, I haven't been wearing my like actual nice necklaces. Like this one's actually getting a little tarnished. This is sterling silver that my friend Sarah gave me for my birthday and it says Nora and Colin on it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, I like wearing dainty necklaces, but I don't want him to break them. So I've been wearing some of the less expensive options um, because I don't want my nicer ones to get ruined. But the point of this whole clip is just to say that I added these little hooks. They're just little command strips, little black command strip hooks. And um, I just stagger them. I didn't measure anything, um, but it's perfect. It's perfect. Good morning on this snowy Thursday. Let me show you what it looks like outside. Can you see the snow? It is, ooh, it is. <laughs> you hear Nora? Outside now. Not yet, baby. Um, it is bitter, bitter cold. We have a big fire roaring in the fireplace and a big hot pot of coffee. And I just got dressed and my sister gave me this sweater. It's from Target. She gave it to me for Christmas and I hadn't worn it yet. And it's super comfy. I like it a lot. If I can find the link, I will link it below. And I'm wearing my favorite leggings that I've been wearing. I literally been doing laundry double time so I can wear them. And I need to, I have a few of them in my cart. I need to just go ahead and check out and get a few extra pairs because they are the best. Um, <clears throat> Colin is napping. I can hear him starting to wake up. Nora is finishing up with some breakfast. Riley's in the shower. He's not going into work today, um, and he won't be going into work tomorrow, most likely either, um, because of the weather, obviously, and the ice and all those kind of conditions. Um, but we have had a really cozy morning so far. My uh, goal for today is to work on doing some organization in Nora's closet. Um, I just need to do a little work in there. I'll show you um, in a little while. Once Riley gets out of the shower and he can tend to Colin and then maybe I can go in there and get that worked on and get that done. So for now, I'm just enjoying this beautiful fire. <sighs> it is nice to have a snow day every once in a while. And so far, obviously we have not lost power. So it's just fine with me. Riley and I just got our big girl ready to go out in the snow. Nora, are you excited? Yeah. You want to go outside? She looks like the kid from a Christmas story. Yeah. Can you move your arms? After last year's snowstorm, we had no snow gear, so my mom went to the consignment store and found these um, like yeah. snow coveralls, and we already had this jacket. And then my sister gave us these boots for Christmas, so she is ready to go. Yeah. This hat is a little tight on her, but we don't really have, it's not, it doesn't get cold here, so we don't really have winter gear. But we did a good job, I think. <laughs> we did a good job. Nora. All right, show mom. All right, we found a hat that fits her better. Are you ready? Oh. Okay, Norny. Norny. <laughs> We're both taking a million pictures of her. Okay. Smile, say snow. Yeah. All right, I'm here in Nora's room. I need to make her bed for the day. Although she's gotten pretty good. This bedding is so great. This is that Betty's bedding where the bottom um, fitted sheet and the comforter are all in one. And then you just zip up the sides to make it. And she's gotten pretty good at doing it. We love it. It's like the coziest, warmest little bed. Um, I will leave a link to the bedding below if you've never heard of it. They make them for a toddler size bed, which is what this is, all the way up to king and they're really, really neat. Um, they'd be great for bunk beds, especially because you could actually make the bunk bed. Anyway, here is what I want to work on today. 
Yesterday I went through all of her bows and organized them and put all the ones that she regularly wears up here. All of these, 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 and these, so these four rows are from one pack on Amazon that was less than $10. And what I like about them is that they have these little alligator clips um, and they sort of will like grip the hair so they actually will hold on. So she's been wearing one of these pretty much every single day. Um, and then I have some of the other ones around the edges and some of them are also the alligator clips and some are different types of barrettes. But I will link this pack below. I like that they come in doubles because when her hair gets a little longer, I can do pigtails and do a, a bow on each pigtail. Um, but they're just adorable, like super, super adorable. And for all those colors for such an inexpensive price, I felt like that was a really good deal. Now this thing is just like a metal, let me see if I can turn it around, um, like a metal grate. And I got it from my baby shower. I was looking to see if they had, because I knew I was going to film this today, and I was like, people are going to ask where I got that. So I got it from my baby shower. I looked on Etsy, and they have ones that are similar width but are longer, which I would actually prefer because you can see how um, crammed in these are. So I'll link below what I can find. So up here I have like baby girl, zero to three, newborn, yada, yada. So what I need to do, I actually probably will combine. You can see these are not very full, whereas these over here, this one has three to six and six to nine. And I think that one's 12 and 18 months. But then stuff that doesn't fit her anymore, I've been putting here so I can put it away. Um, because like I talked about in my New Year's Q&A, we don't know if we're having any more kids. And I don't want to get rid of all this to have to rebuy it if we do decide to have another child. So it's just kind of this weird in-between stage. Um, so I think I'm going to combine these two bins and do newborn and zero to three in one bin. And then I'll have an extra bin to start putting stuff that doesn't fit her. I have pretty much never gone through her dresses. Like some of these are still really... Um, really, really, from when she was really, really tiny. So I need to go through these, put these up, um, and just organize. And then down here, this used to house all of, like it has all this bottle feeding stuff. She never did take a bottle, so it didn't matter that I had it, but that's that. And then there's just some other stuff. So I'm, that's what I'm going to work on today. And then I have like the boppy case and the my breast friend case that I need to put those up in um it just needs some some serious organization so yesterday I tackled the bows which was actually a huge job because it was a disaster and then I put um all of the bows that go like around the head down here as well as a couple of St. Patrick's Day breads I found that I had no idea I had she doesn't keep these on she'll keep the clip-on ones on but she doesn't keep these on I don't know if she'll grow back into wearing these or if we're just saving them in the event that we have another daughter I'm not sure so Let's, here's the before. <laughs> um, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what I can do.
quick intermission as I was cleaning out the closet I found this Elsa dress you spin for mama no no um but that's the first time she's ever worn a dress up there you go yeah. yay it's so precious where's Queen Elsa who brought us the snow there she is so I just finished with Nora's room and um, it looks great. I pulled this coat rack out, which was actually made by Riley's late father for his sisters. And, <laughs> and um, my mother-in-law found it in her attic um, shortly after we had Nora. And I told her, she asked if I wanted it because the other sisters did not want it. And I was like, yes, I would love it. Super cute with the bunnies because we have little bunnies up here. So I never had it out because we never really had anything to use it for. But she's getting to the age now where I think she'll enjoy hanging up like her jackets or um, like her Elsa dress she's wearing. So I'm just going to put it over there for now. We'll see if we want to move it. Um, and then everything else is the same in here. I did pull out. I always put out one of my favorite dresses for each season hanging here. So like I had a Christmas one out and I had one that said Big Sister on it. After Colin was born, and this is her little Valentine's Day dress. It's so cute. Okay, the most work I did was in here in the closet and in the dresser drawers. There was, previously there was just so much stuff. And while the closet is still very functional and there is a lot of different things in it, it's now extremely organized, which is so much better. So first of all, I went through all of the clothes. So now that the, the clothes that are out are clothes that actually fit her, um, she has a lot of clothes that fit her. Um, a lot of people gave us things in 2T that didn't, like, that she's never worn. And so I made sure those are all out because she's she's in 2T now. Some 2T things are still too big for her because she's a little peanut, but mostly that's what she's in. Then up here I have 3 to 6 and 6 to 9 months there. And then 12 and 18 months there. And then newborn and zero to three months here. I did combine them. And then up here I have like the Snuggle Me Lounger, the Boppy, and then my Breast Friend Pillow um, in their original cases, which I kept for storage purposes. Um, those were all from when Nora was a baby, and then I saved them like this. And then when Colin came along, we were able to pull them out. So I don't know if we're having another one or not, but at least we have these and we'll have to rebuy them if we decide to. If not, in the next couple of years, I'll just go ahead and sell them or donate them. Um, and then this cute little lamb basket, I just put some extra blankets in. Um, we probably don't need quite as many blankets as we have for Nora, but I don't want to get rid of anything just yet. <clears throat> and then down here, I just used like a little clip to <laughs> Nora and Charlie, if you can hear them, they... They seriously like play slash bicker all day long. So I just put little tags to know what what's, what's in everything. So hair, bows, and things. So these are like hair accessories, um, changing pad covers, and crib sheets. These are like reader materials. So I have like some really great little things for learning how to read and some like more chapter style books. And so I don't really need those out quite yet because she's just two, but soon enough. And then travel. I have some different travel things. And then these two are actually empty, which I always think when I've finished organizing a space to have an empty shelf or an empty drawer or some kind of empty space is usually a good sign because it means I got rid of the things I needed to get rid of and like I don't always want to pack everything. Moving over here, <clears throat> this is the same organizer. I have two of these in our closet now. I really love them. They really hold up well for their price. So I'll make sure to link it below. And then in my closet, I also have one that's half the size that I use for my undergarments. So in the first drawer are shoes that she currently wears. The next drawer is next size up. So I decided to, instead of having everything hanging up, because then it's a little confusing when you're getting her dressed on like what fits, the things that she doesn't fit into yet, I just put in here so that eventually we can obviously pull them out and she can wear them. And then if I'm out shopping and I see something that I want to get for her, but it's the next size up, I have like a nice place to put it. And then on the bottom is swim. So this has like her life jacket and swimmies and um, some of her bathing suits. And then there's like a floaty down here. Um, she's never actually, never actually used that floaty. 
And then this is um, 18 months, 24 months, and it will eventually be 2T, things that don't fit her. And so it used to be that I had all of her um, extra clothes, you know, that don't fit anymore, outgrown clothes up there, but it made it really hard as I was doing laundry and noticing that things wouldn't fit. I would, you probably saw the, like when I was showing earlier, I just piled them right there. So it was like not really that functional. So now having this down here, obviously I can pop it open really easily. And then I have this beautiful sign that my friend had made for Nora that says Nora Sunderland, her first and middle name. Um, but we don't quite have a place for it, but we will. So um, eventually I'd love to hang it up, you know, here in her bedroom when I kind of make it a little bit more of a little kid room instead of kind of like a baby room or something like that. But I love it. I don't definitely do not want to get rid of it. Um, we just don't have a place for it quite yet. The original plan was for it to go above the closet, but it's not, it's too big. It doesn't fit. And then I also have this really cool, like my first year, um, picture frame, but I just need to get the pictures printed for that. And then this one is really neat. This, um, so my mom really doesn't have much really of anything from her childhood because she was the youngest child of nine in a pretty dysfunctional family. And so we, I don't have things like from when she was growing up. Like I can't think of one thing I have actually. It's really sad. Um, at all. Like, like I just said, I don't, I can't think of one thing. So my mom's oldest sister, the very first born found this print in an antique store. You can see it's got some damage to it and she purchased it and mailed it to me. And my mom was actually here when I opened it up and my mom was like so, so touched because she said in her nursery, like in her room as a little girl, this painting hung above her crib. And then there was another one that had a little boy praying like this. And, um, cause her, the brother right above her, they shared, a bedroom. I think they shared a crib actually, um, my uncle Chip. And so he had like the little boy version hanging above his and then she had this one. And so I went to Ikea and got a frame for it. And again, there's not like a great place for it in this room, but I want to save it because I'd like to hang it up. You know, if we ever have space for like a real playroom, I'd love to do like a gallery wall and have this be in it because it's really special, even though it's not the actual print that my mom grew up having. You know what I mean? It's just really neat to have that because I don't have anything that's like a relic of her childhood at all. So I was really touched that my Aunt Kathy sent this to me and my mom thought it was really cool too. So I did frame it and it's just kind of setting in there, which I actually like because, whoops, I'm tripping over Nora's bed. When I open up the closet, there it is. Um, and then I already showed my bow rack and then there's some extra space here. So there's extra space here. Um, there's extra space here if I want to get another bin or two. And then those two bottom drawers are both empty. So I'd say I did pretty well in the closet section. And then over here um, in her dresser section, this top drawer had a whole bunch of stuff in it that I like random old baby bonnets and things that she hasn't been able to wear for like 18 months or more. So I put those away in the proper things. And then here are her socks. Um, and then tights in here. And then this drawer is just diapers and extra wipes. We use these, well, this one's not set up correctly, but there's like a weighted plate that goes on top. So you can pull the wipes out easily. And then in this drawer, I did um, leggings, jeans in here. This one is empty. And this one is PJs. So... That is that. Nora's room is all organized. So just a... Whoa! <laughs> Are you coming in, sis? <laughs> coming in hot. Um, just a complete overview of her nursery. Love her chandelier. Wow, Nora, what do you do? <laughs> it's time for her nap, so she's kind of going crazy because she doesn't want to nap. But everything looks clean and nice, and... Do you like your room all clean? You do? Are you ready to take a nap? Bye. <laughs> We're done. This was a big project for me and I'm glad to have checked it off. Hello from me and Colin. Say hello. 
It's evening now and Riley is putting Nora down for bed and I'm just tidying up. I just started the dishwasher and I'm just straightening up. We've obviously spent a lot of time around the fire today with it being so bitter cold outside. But Nora did venture outside two different times with Riley in her little snow gear and she just absolutely loved it. So we've had a really nice snow day full of movies and like a big fire. We've had a hot pot of coffee going all day. It's just been a really nice relaxing day and the fact that we have kept our electricity on and our water is running is such an enormous blessing uh, because it's allowing us to truly enjoy this winter weather rather than just the stress that was accompanied by all the events of last year. So hopefully that continues on. Um, today the worst of it fell, but I guess the issue with tomorrow is that it will not be getting above freezing. Um, and then Saturday morning, so tomorrow's Friday, and then I guess Saturday morning, it'll be really, really chilly as well. Um, and I guess it will maybe... Oh, 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 oh. It's okay, Mama's here. It'll start to finally warm up, probably on Saturday afternoon, so that's when we'll see some of this ice melting. Anyway, I think... Oh my gosh. His sad face is so sad. Um, I'm gonna go nurse him and get him down and um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday from me and my Kali. He just woke up from his morning nap. It's about 11.30 now. Nora is outside with Riley playing in the snow, which is melting, which is a good thing <laughs> because that means we will not be stranded in our home for days to come. Um, it looks like in the wherever the sun hits, the snow has melted quite a bit, and then in the shadows, it's melting just a little bit slower, which obviously. Um, we had a great day yesterday. Today's off to a really good start. Um, I don't know. I might try to go work a little bit if the roads are safe by this afternoon. Um, if not, we'll just lay low today and I can go work tomorrow. Um, but we'll see because it looks like it's it's melting pretty well. And I we're, you know, in a neighborhood, but the main roads, I would imagine, are pretty clear by this point. So that's that. Did you have a good little nappy? Who's that? <laughs> Can you say hello? Oh. When I tell you this baby, oh, he's so yummy. I just love him. Oh, I can hear Nora coming in. Nora, did you play outside? You played in the snow? I'm gonna go see her. All right, it is after dinner and I was just kind of putting together a grocery order for us and decided I wanted to clean out the fridge, which actually looks pretty good right now, and the freezer, which is always such a disaster. So we recently got a garage fridge and freezer, so my plan is to go through here and put some things in the garage freezer that would make more sense to be out there so that we can free up some space in here so that it's easier to see what all we have. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So here's the before. <laughs> Not only is it like really messy and you can't really see what we have, it's also actually really dirty. I know there's like ice cream down there. I have no idea the last time I've like deep cleaned this. So I'm gonna take everything out, put some of it in the outside fridge, wipe it all down, and then I'll show you. First of all, can you see my Crocs reflection? <laughs> I was standing here, I was like, oh gosh, they can see the Crocs. Um, okay, so here's what we're left with. That's part of a smoothie from Daily Harvest. And it's just disgusting, really, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it all out, vacuum it, and clean it. Everything that was in here is up on the up on the island. I went ahead and put all of my breast milk into this little container situation. I'm going to go put this outside in the freezer out there immediately because this is liquid gold and I need it to not thaw. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to sort through what I'm doing with everything else. Okay, I just finished scrubbing it clean. I am like out of breath. That was really hard work, but it looks brand new like the day we got it. So I'm going to go ahead and refill it. All right, I just finished, so let me show you. So here on the bottom tier, I have all of our meat. We get all of our meat from ButcherBox. It's like organic, delicious, shipped to you frozen meat. I have a referral link that I will put below 
that gets you, I don't know, 30 or $50 off your first box. We've been buying Butcher Box for two years and we love it. Anyway, all our meat. Then we just have a little bit of fruit here. Riley makes overnight oats and uses strawberries and blueberries sometimes. And then a whole bunch of different kinds of vegetables over here. My battery's dying, let me go swap it. Okay, we're back in business. Vegetables over here, and then I have potatoes over here. So these are like hash browns and these are french fries. So we have meat, fruit, veggies, and then potatoes will go here. And then up in the top, I just left it a little bit more empty. Um, and I figured we can always use it differently as time goes on. But I have like frozen treats over here. I ended up taking, I have a two, uh, box of two and a half gallon Ziplocs, which are great. They're, you know, double and a half the size of a normal gallon Ziploc, obviously. And um, I, when I was cleaning, I found that the biggest culprit for mess was ice cream. So I figured if I just keep it in a bag, and then this will just be our like ice cream bag. So if we get another gallon of ice cream, I'll just put it in the same, same bag, whatever. Um, and then some little treats back there. Normally I like to have frozen go-gurts, which are like yogurts in a tube for Nora as like an after dinner treat. She, you know, kind of considers it like her ice cream. So we're out, she just ate the last one but this is a perfect spot for them because of the size and shape. And then over here in the back, we have like for headaches and teething rings and like an ace bandage type of thing. And then these are um, whiskey balls, like ice in a sphere that Riley uses when he drinks whiskey or makes like old fashioned and things. And then these are the same thing. So these are all over here and I put them in this little bin because this is like a bumpy surface down below and this is flat so the ice will freeze flat so that's the freezer which was the biggest mess the fridge I've had the same organizational system for a while I did give it a little wipe out um, but I didn't like deep clean it I did go through the shelves and get rid of quite a few things that were expired um, but we just have like general categories like this is like dairy like thicker dairy and this is like milks and stuff um this is like Nora's chocolate milk leftover from earlier some sauces we're using eggs fruit this is like Nora's snack drawer so we keep like squeeze yogurts and things like that cheese vegetables leftovers in this little pulley thing um and then down here is like just a hodgepodge of stuff meat cheese leftover butter extra stuff like that so that's this one let me go show you the garage one so here's our garage fridge, along with like Christmas storage, Nora's plaything, an empty box of diapers. You know, our garage is definitely a big project at some point that we will do. Um, so I decided to put some prepackaged foods out here because, whoa, I did not need to zoom in. Let me zoom back out. Um, because this is like an easy place to store them and we don't eat this kind of stuff very often. Usually it's like, if we don't have anything for dinner or whatever. So we'll know that it's in here. I put all my breast milk in that storage container, which I will link, it's from Amazon. Um, and I put it all the way in the back just so that it stays super frozen <laughs> so I can keep it for the maximum amount of time. Um, and then I have some Daily Harvest smoothies, which we absolutely love. My favorite two flavors are strawberry and peach and chocolate blueberry. And Riley's favorite flavor is this cold brew almond and then one that's like a carrot carrot, walnut, it tastes like carrot cake. Those are his two favorites. So we're about to get a restock of that. I also have an affiliate link or referral code. It's a referral code um, for Daily Harvest. I think it gives you $25 off. These are smoothies. They have like all the ingredients you need. And then just down here, we just have some drinks and some extra milk, which I need one of these white milks because we're out. Um, and then some Premier Protein Shakes, which we have up there. So there's our garage fridge. I got my collar. He's a little fussy, it's about bedtime. Um, so, this morning I was saying that I thought the roads would probably be pretty good. They were not. Riley um, talked to some people and then he went and walked our neighborhood and the roads are like completely icy. He said it was just like black ice. So we did not, we did not go anywhere today for obvious reasons. Um, but Nora went outside with Riley two or three times to play in the snow. Oh, it's okay. And Colin and I hung out together. We had another big fire. Um, I am starting to get a little stir crazy because we haven't left the house in several days. Um, but it was really good to organize the um, the fridge. That was a big, and the freezer especially. That was like a big, a big mental to do. All right, let, hang on one second. All right, I'm sitting down nursing Colin, so hopefully he'll be a little bit happier. 
I told you guys in a previous vlog a few times ago that one of my biggest sort of goals or I don't know what the right word is, um, intentions for the year was to get our house back in order. It got to be such a mess throughout um, last year because I was pregnant for the bulk of the year and then I had a newborn for the end of the year. Um, and it just was not a priority, I was exhausted. And not feeling super well out while I was pregnant. But to date, in 2022, I have so far organized the playroom area up here. I have like bought organizers and cleaned that all up. Our entire main bathroom, our entire closet, the entire pantry and laundry room, um, now the fridge and freezer in both the garage and the one in our kitchen did all that. I have done Colin's whole room and closet and I have done Nora's whole room and closet and I have done the whole guest room and closet. So what's left? Um, the garage is an enormous undertaking. Maybe we'll tackle that this spring. Thinking about organizing the garage is so overwhelming to me because it's such such a catch-all it's like obviously all of all of our decor and all that kind of stuff um we do also have an attic but we don't really utilize that too heavily and i'm wondering if maybe we should um to clear up some space in our garage so the garage would probably be the biggest one um up here in our front room we do have a coat closet i could probably go through that but i have checked off the list most of the major areas of the house that have taken like quite a bit of time like doing Nora's room yesterday took several hours um, my little Apple Watch movement goal was met and exceeded just from like getting up and down and moving around doing her room yesterday. So I'm really excited about that. It feels so good to be in a house that's like functional and organized and doesn't have a whole bunch of um, random stuff that I don't use or need or want, you know, so, or I should say that we don't want or use or need or whatever. So that's the story. Organizing 2022. I bet some of you guys are doing organizational projects at the beginning of the year too. It's a good time for that. I know several of my friends have been, we like have been talking over text in Marco Polo about different organizational projects that we're working on because it just feels like a good time of year. There's not a lot going on. It's cold. We're indoors to like check things off, get things done, clean things up. I feel like this was a pretty long weekly vlog and um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like longer weekly vlogs, I appreciate you guys watching so, so much. I have been linking um, different things on Amazon or just the internet in general a lot on Instagram because I get the same series of questions a whole lot all the time about like, what do you use for this? What do you use for that? Um, a lot of people missing my monthly favorites videos, which were super fun to do. I just don't have the bandwidth for them right now. So instead of doing like a once a month video, like every couple of days, I've been linking like some of my favorite things and then I'm saving them all to a highlight. So if you like that kind of thing, make sure you're following me on Instagram. My handle is at Blair Blogs. Otherwise, I will see you guys next Sunday. Everything that I said I would link is linked in the more info bar below. So go check that out if you're interested. See you in a week. Mm -hmm.